Hi everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. I thought that today I would uh, post a clip on a rather timely topic, namely uh, New Year's resolutions. Uh, many of us will certainly uh, succumb to the allure of engaging in all sorts of self-promises. We will eat better, we'll lose weight. If you're a smoker, you'll, you'll promise to stop smoking, drink less, and so on and so forth. Uh, now, how... How do most people do when it comes to these uh, resolutions? Do they stick to them? Well, uh, six years ago, I wrote an article on my Psychology Today blog, which I'll provide you the link to it at the bottom of this clip, uh, where I uh, referenced an article along with its citations regarding these exact issues. So let me summarize some of uh, the key findings from uh, that article. So first, perhaps for some bad news, it turns out that people don't do very well in terms of sticking to their uh, New Year's resolutions, as you might expect. So here are some interesting percentages for you to ponder. 22% uh, of people fail after one week. So roughly one-fourth of people have already violated their New Year's resolutions by week one. 40% uh, after one month. 50% after three months. 60% at the half year mark and 81% after two years. So by the two year period, uh, most people have certainly uh, violated their New Year's resolutions. Uh, so statistically speaking, it's tough to stick to it, but what are some strategies that we might be able to use to hopefully reduce the likelihood of failing in our New Year's resolutions? And the article uh, in question, uh, proposes several strategies, which again, I summarize in my article. So here they are. Number one, uh, you could try to stay away from unclear, vague and fuzzy goals. So for example, rather than saying, uh, you know, next year I plan on eating in a much more healthy manner, it's difficult to know how to instantiate that. You might say, I plan on losing 20 pounds by June. That's very specific, very tangible, very concrete. So specificity is quite important when it comes to instantiating your uh, New Year's resolution. So number one, stay away from unclear and vague goals. Uh, number two, uh, if you don't have a means by which you can sort of gauge, uh, you know, how well you're doing in your stated goals, that's not a good thing. So uh, if you're planning on losing weight, uh, implement a system whereby once a week, uh, you weigh yourself every Tuesday you weigh yourself rather than doing something like well you know if I feel good in my clothes then I know I'm on the right track right again that's that's vague it's easy to fool yourself right men have an uncanny ability to uh, wear their pants below their waists so that uh, they can fool themselves into thinking that they haven't put on weight uh, but if you get on that scale you'll know if you're doing well or if you need to take autocorrective measures so that's the second strategy. And thirdly, try to implement strategies that reduce the likelihood of you succumbing to uh, temptation, or if you have weak self-regulation, you won't succumb to such uh, pulls. So for example, uh, we just returned from an all-inclusive vacation uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, most people who go on an all-inclusive vacation will put on quite a bit of pound. I, th I think I heard something in the order of five pounds a week. Uh, now, in my case, I actually returned having lost quite a bit of weight, uh, in part because I had trained a lot, but, but uh, perhaps of equal importance, if not greater importance than the exercise, I had implemented a strategy of, to the best of my ability, only having one plate. In other words, even though it's an all-you-can-eat uh, situation, by imposing a very strict and clear um, strategy, it removed the possibility of my succumbing to temptation. And so again, this seems like an obvious strategy, but of course many people don't implement these uh, strategies and hence we end up failing in our New Year's resolution. So there you have it. Uh, wishing you all a great uh, 2016. Looking forward to uh, seeing you all next year. Take care, ciao.